Oh, today we might be making a roller. Dude, it, it's been a long time coming. What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Garage, and today's kind of a cool day because we may have a roller on our hands by the end of this video. That's kind of the hope. Now, I have the trailer, I have the front subframe strapped and ready to go to take up to Craig's house because we just finished all the welding. We're gonna put the rear suspension, the front suspension, and I got the rear tires in the back of the truck. And uh, yeah, that, that basically means we'll have a roller. I got the, yeah, the wheels and everything, the tires, we're good. This, we don't have a steering wheel yet or steering column. It'll be an interesting kind of roller. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but let's get up there and get this thing on the car. Got the front end all mounted up, made it out to Craig's. We're up here at the ranch. She made it. I, I added like 50 straps, so it was not moving. So, but we're good, we're here. Now we got a, we just got the car off of its side. He just finished the last of the welding. So I think we're gonna roll it in, detach it from our make do rotisserie. I guess it's not even really a rotisserie, but oh, I got dog hair. <laughs> so we'll get it unstrapped and start getting this thing assembled. So we got the car off of our make do rotisserie. Actually, if you guys uh, didn't see it, we used the actual original leaf spring mounts and we welded it to these uh, bars and bolted it to the car. And then the front just mounted to the front subframe connectors. And we actually used the solid aluminum bushing so you could see exactly, yeah, there's still a little rust that we couldn't get from media blasting and whatnot where these were. So we'll get these cleaned up and painted and coated. It's probably better that that's a nice smooth surface anyways, but we also now have the rear end. So since the last time we've seen this, Keith got it all painted up, looking good, right? We just flipped it over and uh, now we're starting to assemble the main brackets for the front springs. And then we have all of the, the DSC parts over here. So we're getting the grease gun and all that stuff ready. We got all these parts, they're all taped up so we didn't get them all messed up, but get the rear. You can see we actually media blasted these parts and pieces, which is fine. We'll probably hit these with a, a flat, just like a hot rod black and be good to go. A little off, huh? a little off. A little more, there you go, perfect. Yeah. Got a rear end under here, boys. Got all the bolts all tightened up, looking good. Holy cow. We're gonna have a roller here. I mean, they're taking lunch break. As soon as they're done, we're gonna get the front subframe on. It's looking good. Mike thinks I'm gonna make my car donk because I was thinking about putting 18, 17 size wheels he's and strong. he's just like, you can put 32s on it. <laughs> he's fired. Yeah, get the old thing. Anyways. Front subframe off the trailer. Heath's uh, playing the guessing game of which subframe connectors go where because there was no instructions or details whatsoever in this kit. And the original stuff that was on the car was not original to the car. And every corner had a different size. So yeah, awesome. But hey, look at we lowered the car, it's on bags. <laughs> Dude, that would be crazy if it was that low. I think we should set it on that too. We're not doing that. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, the lethal classic roller. Almost. Grab me up. Heath, I love you forever. Alignment's all jacked up, but guys, we legit. Keep telling you, it's not that far off. Have a roller. She rolls again. Now keep in mind, these are not final wheels and tires. But it's holy cow. I can't believe it's back to this state. Thanks guys. Look, oh, he's gonna talk crap. <laughs> he's about to talk crap and I and I stopped him. He's gonna start something. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's gonna start some. I've learned. <laughs> Mike saw it too. <laughs> he can't even stop. We're good. So we got the subframe connectors in place. Obviously it's all bolted. We did a few measurements. We believe the subframe's off about eh, half inch, quarter inch. So we'll have to loosen it all up, kind of reposition, get measurements, make it all good. But the nice thing is, is the alignment from side to side from how far the tires are out or it's about dead nuts. So it's crazy to see. It's definitely sitting a lot lower than it was, which is good. Um, but we'll have no idea how the stance and everything is going to be until we actually have the real wheels and tires and all that stuff on there and all the weight in the car. So motor's going to drop the front end a little bit, back seats, gas tank, all that junk is going to drop the rear a bit. So there's a lot of weight to put in the car, a lot to do still, but holy cow, has it been, it's been, well, technically it's been a year since I bought this car. I bought this car early March last year. And here, here's a picture of what that car looked like. And now we have a car that's been stripped down. Everything's welded up. The body is ready. Like it's ready, right Heath? Like we're good. Yep, a little body work on some of the sheet metal. On the yeah, I mean, we got some body work to do, but technically if we wanted to, we could assemble the car and go drive it. Right now. Right now. Right now. We'd have it ready by 11 o'clock tonight. I, yeah. Well, <laughs> I need, I need to spend about $5,000 in parts ah! still. So there's still all the fuel lines, the brake lines, all the miscellaneous fasteners. And I actually ordered the proper, so I had the motor mounts, the proper motor mounts for the motor to the frame, but I didn't have the frame mounts. So I got those ordered. Yeah, there's, there's still just a lot. Then there's the interior. Like we have most of the interior, but I still don't have front seats. So I may be working with status uh, for seats. Excited about that. Still have to figure out the lining for the rear seats and basically the whole interior. I think I'm gonna work with a local company to put some nice carpet and get the headliner in. But I have all those parts and pieces. I have all the trim pieces, the A-pillars, the sail panels, all the trim, the doors. I have all the parts and pieces to assemble that. We started that, started getting the uh, Dynamat in. We got a Dynamat, the interior, like there's, <laughs> there's a lot. Whoever said it was cheap rebuilding a classic straight up lied to you. No one ever told me that, so I knew what I was getting myself into, but this is gonna be an expensive car when it's done, but it's gonna be something I'm never gonna get rid of, and it's gonna be something I'll be proud of forever, so. And if again, I gotta give a huge shout out to Heath and Craig and Mike and even Russ, who's sitting over, who's even put some time in, like, Without their help, their knowledge, their assistance, their willingness to help me out, like this project would not be happening. So huge shout out to them. If you guys are ever looking to potentially do this, give them a call. You know, they, they may want to do that. I think Heath wants to retire and just do this for the rest of his life, right? Yeah, I want to be broke. Car's in a really good spot. I'm super excited right now, like just to see the car back in this way and the whole front end together obviously there's still a lot to do we gotta get the sway bar we gotta get the whole motor um yeah the motor's built though for those of you who are late and haven't joined if you check out the older videos the ls7 build series the ls 7s built it's on the stand we have all the parts and pieces for that the whole drive line i think the only thing we have to buy is the belt and I'm trying to think of what else there is yeah i think it's just belts <laughs> like that's not very much so excited that's it i'm leaving it there we're done we're good we have a roller until next time see you guys on the road